welcome to another video. Saturday, sun's out, still a bit chilly though. I think it might be warm at the end of the ride, cold at the start. So today I'm out with two ladies. I'm out with Teresa and Heather. And we're going to be talking about sprint triathlons. Teresa is in training for a sprint triathlon. So we're going to have a bit of a chat about her preparation and why she's doing it. I had a bright idea of doing a, doing a sprint triathlon about seven or eight years ago. I'm not very good at running and I'm definitely not very good at swimming. So this morning I'm with Teresa. <laughs> Hi! So Teresa, as I say, she's training to do a sprint triathlon. So tell us about it. Why do you want to do this? Because I'm mad. Well, that's, that's a good reason. Any other reasons? The other reason was is when I was 50, I decided that I wanted to do challenge myself. So I decided to do a super sprint triathlon. And then the plan was to do the sprint last year, but unfortunately due to COVID, that didn't happen. So I decided because they all got um, moved across to this year, that I carry on and do them. So, so what distance is a, a sprint triathlon? How how far do you do in each uh, category? Uh, swim is a 400 meter pool swim, followed by 18 kilometer ride, followed by a 5k run. And it's always in that order. Always in that order. Yeah. And which is your strongest, the bike? The bike is my strongest. Yeah. Followed by swim, followed by the run, which is very much my weakest element. Yeah, I think it. Uh, a run is definitely would definitely be mine as well. But fair play to you for doing it, because I started to train and gave it up. So well, it's definitely a good thing to do. I nearly gave up, but then. So do you think uh, a coach is a secret to ensuring that you you definitely stay motivated? Definitely. Yeah. I have a plan to follow, so and she's watching every step of the way. Even now, over your shoulder. Over she's my shoulder. She's watching you. She'll be looking at you. She will. As soon as this downloads to Training Peaks, she looks at them all. So how long have you been on the coaching program? This is my sixth week, um, and I definitely feel that my fitness has improved my riding and my riding have improved yeah and obviously we've only just got back to swimming i so. guess it must help your general confidence too oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely because um <clears throat> she's there every step of the way even when i'm doubting myself she's really good with her yeah. comments and giving you the pat on the back when you need one and a kick up the bum when you need yeah, one. Yeah, I think you've got that pressure, well not a pressure, but you've got that responsibility that she's given up a time to coach you and you don't want to miss it, do you? No. Well, you're kind of accountable to that third person. No. Second no. person, rather. Yeah, and, and you're paying for it, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well that's, that's an incentive. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to waste your money. <laughs> so, so what's a typical week? Um, Typical, so this week for instance, um, I did a 45 minute walk on Monday, um, an hour ride on Tuesday, um, 40 minute swim Wednesday, uh, 43 minute run on Thursday. 43? 43, That's exactly. very precise. It is. Yeah. A walk last night. Um, Technically a two hour ride today, but it will be a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and then a 50 minute run tomorrow, because she always extends it out on a yeah. Sunday. And when's, when's the actual event, the first one? 1st of August in York. Right, so you've got a fair amount of time to get super fit, super motivated. 14 weeks, I think. Have you got a target time in mind that you want to do? Um, not really. 
I did my first super sprint in exactly 59 minutes. Yeah. And I thought oh, I was going to take an hour and a half. So we shall see. But either way, I think it's a mega achievement to actually just complete one because they're not easy. Whichever way you look at it, they're really not easy, are they? No, not at all. When I did um, the first one, um, it was hard piecing it all together after doing um, the individual training. Yeah. But a friend said, when I crossed the line, that um, my face was a picture and that he knew that I'd be doing more. type two fun isn't it once it's over you look back on it it was brilliant yeah and you yeah. want to know when your next challenge is and then heather's going to be next yeah so what are you going to do i think i'll get the london to brighton out of the way first and then we'll see yeah <laughs> will that be the longest you've ridden yes will today be the longest you've ridden uh how far are we going t 35 right? yes Hopefully. it is it is yeah <laughs> how far is london to brighton 62. 62. Uh, yeah. I mean, I found when I started riding seriously, once I was past 25 miles, the next sort of 20, 25 came really easy. Okay. Get, getting from like 10 to 25 yeah. on a mountain bike initially yeah. was quite a struggle. Yeah. But once I was past 25, it's just a case of turning the pedals and keep going. It is. So I think you'll be fine. There was no hills between London to Brighton, it's downhill all the way. Uh, no, but somebody told me it was downhill all the way. Oh, I wish. Were they lying? They were lying. Yeah. They bent the truth slightly. So we're heading off now to Cafe Velo Verde. Will you be having the bacon roll? Is that in your training program? Not in my training program, but I'll need it because I need to um, get as much substance as I can. Yeah, that's the good excuse. Yeah. I need the protein. Yeah. And I need the carbs. Right. <laughs> and that's my excuse. Such an egg I might need. So how did you find the coach? How did you select the coach that you've got? Quite simple really. A friend of mine who decided in her wisdom to start triathlons by doing a half Ironman. Oh right, as you do. Yeah. As you do. Decided that she was struggling with her training so she looked for a coach. Right, okay. Um, and then around about the beginning of February, I found myself in the same position with COVID and everything, just struggling to get my backside in gear. Yeah. So I happened to ring the same lady. Right. Um, have a good old chat with her. Um, and what's her name? Jade Anstis. Okay. It's Aurora Triathlon Coaching. Um, and she's lovely. She's very, very supportive. She gives you that kick up the bum when you need it. Yeah, not that you do, because you're no, always big, no. yeah. Oh, of course not. I'm absolutely perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, but she, um, she, as I say, she's supportive in all different ways. Yeah, and she can do all three sports? She, yeah, she's actually, um, uh, a GB Ironman triathlete yep. um, so she's raced herself but she can um, coach all three individually or just two of the different um, sports or all three depending on what you want to do yeah brilliant so I'll drop a link below to the website if you want to have a look Almost at the end of the ride now, 35 miles. It was about spot on with the 35 miles then. I was. And we were making just over 30. Yeah. And Heather's done the longest ride. I bet 
very happy. So she's carrying on to 70, doing a second lap. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just coming to the end of the ride now. Been a grand ride actually. Nice route, 35 miles out and back along the River Trent. Just north side of River Trent, back to Oxton village. So good to ride with Teresa and Heather. Really good to hear about Teresa's um, sprint triathlon plans. It's not, it's no mean feat to be doing things like that. And uh, say she, uh, as she mentioned, she did the first one when she was 50. And uh, yeah, fair play to her, because it's a big achievement to do that. So I shall see you again in a few days time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell icon. See you soon, bye.